What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Cameron here and welcome back to another video on the channel. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. So, the Raptors have just re-signed Pascal Siakam to the max rookie extension just about three or four days ago. So here we go, Raptors realistic rebuild for you guys. So, Pascal Siakam is the number one player on this team. Kyle Lowry, I've also put in the extensions for this team. So, Pascal has his rookie extension and Kyle Lowry has that one-year extension as well. Um, so, there we all go there. But everyone else is on expiring deals. So, we could look to blow this team up after this first season if this season doesn't go too well or trade Kyle Lowry at the trade deadline. So, there's not a lot there that we could really do. Rotation-wise, this is what I'm doing. I've moved Fred Van Vliet to the shooting guard. I'm not 100% sure if they would actually do that might keep Fred Van Vliet coming off of the bench but I thought that would be all right because instead otherwise Norman, Norman Powell would be starting at the shooting guard and I don't exactly want to do that so I'm going to play Fred Van Vliet at the starting shooting guard position uh, Pascal is starting at the small forward with Sergi Barker and Marcus Sol starting there I'm not sure how that will work because uh, uh, Barker and Gasol can kind of still shoot, so this floor spacing shouldn't be a problem there for anyone. And Ronde Ellis, Jefferson, Norman Powell, Stanley Johnson, OG Adenobi going on there. We also have Patrick McCaw coming off of the bench. Pascal and uh, Kyle Larry as our scoring options. For efficiency, we're going with a balanced system, and that's really all that we need to worry about. Our power rankings, NBA.com have us at 10, and Eric has us at 12. Let's see what this team can do this first season. I'm going to actually see him to the trade deadline. If we're doing pretty bad, I will see you guys with maybe a trade for Carl Lowry. If not, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. So, we finished this season with 44 and 38. Giannis was the MVP, Zion Rookie of the Year, D'Angelo six-man Kawhi defensive, Pascal Siakam was the most improved player, and Frank Vogel, Coach of the Year. Pascal got most improved two back-to-back -back years. All right, so clearly he must have done something, right? So, no, we don't have anyone All-NBA first team. Um, what's going on here? Okay, All-NBA second team, we're no, and we do get Pascal All-NBA third team. That's the way, mate. That's the way, um, and that's really all. I'm not expecting anyone else up here. Do we get any? No, we definitely didn't have any rookies there. So, we finish as a four seed in the East. Let's check out the stats, how everyone did. Kyle Lowry, 22.7 points. Pascal, 21.2. Uh, two points. Marcus Sol, 16.8 points, 13, 11. So there you guys go there. Team stats here, points per game. So offensively, we were 13th. Our defense was third best and our differential was 11th best in the league. Let's go across to this rotation. we got to sort this out for the playoffs here. I am going to rock a nine-man rotation. I am going to level it out a bit so that the bench does get a few more minutes. I'm going to go like this, give Pascal quite a few and Kyle Lowry a few more as well. Uh, let's just go like this, and I'm good with all of that. Let's just go to here. Let's just simulate round here against the Indiana Pacers. We lose game one. Not a good start to the to the playoffs, I'm assuming. Uh, it should be a good series, I'm guessing. We're tied 2-2. Uh, can we go up? We do go up 3-2. Can we win in six? Nope. Game seven. Oh, we get eliminated in game seven against the Pacers, really? Alright, so we might have enough salary to sign someone big. It could possibly be like, bring DeMar back to Toronto. I'm sure DeMar would want to come back. I mean, he's not that great. Maybe not, maybe not bring him back, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure what I could do this free agency because there's not a lot of free agents that I could go after unless I re-signed people for like one-year deals and traded them away. But the Los Angeles Lakers are the champs with LeBron getting finals MVP. So what we're going to do, we're just going to go down to the draft lottery, see what we, if we can, uh, we don't, don't have a pick in the lottery. So let's just see where our pick is, if we do actually have a pick. Oh, uh, we do. It's at 19. So there you guys go there. So we have the 19th pick. Staff signing. I'm very happy with Nick Nurse and our trainer. I'm um, alright with our assistant GM and everything there. I'm all fine with all of that. Let's just go down to this draft. I'm going to go Nico because then we have a point guard, I guess. Uh, we've also got a second round pick. Uh, let's see what we could pick up here. I'll take Nick Richards. Why not? I'll take Nick from Kentucky. Sure, mate. Should be okay there. Anthony Edwards went one. Lamelo, RJ Hampton, and Denny Advita and Okchi Abuji. I don't know how to pronounce that name. So, yeah, there we go. That's what happened there. Rookie signings. Nico Manon and Nick Richards I'll bring onto our team. Team player options. We're bringing back OG and Terrence Davis. Terrence, he's... Yeah, okay, sure. He should be okay, I guess. Does he have team options after this? I'm not sure. 
Uh, yes, he does. Okay, so Stanley Johnson also declined his option as well. So, qualifying. Yeah, nah, I'm all good with all of that, guys. Do we have any cap room? We need to free up 4 mil. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go... No, actually, I'm gonna go to New York. Or oh, Sacramento. No, New York. I'll go to New York and I'll trade that pick for that pick I'm going for. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. I'll grab the New York pick. So, now we've got a bit of money. We could probably try and go after someone in free agency here. So, could we bring... Like, Andre Drummond. That could work, you know. Pair Andre Drummond with Pascal. Andre's 26. How old is Pascal? 26 also. That could work, you know. Bring Andre Drummond to Toronto. We could also try and bring... If that doesn't work, bring Buddy Heald. If possible, he's restricted. But I'm, And I'm sure the Kings are going to match that. So, we get Andre Drummond. We're not going to be able to bring Buddy Heald onto this team. But that's fine by me. Andre Drummond and Fred Van Vliet, I'm happy with for this free agency so far. If I can, I'll bring back Marcus Gasol and uh, Sergi Barker for a bit. Okay, apparently I cannot. So, apparently I can't sign Andre Drummond. with 7 mil over the cap for some, somehow. Because Fred Van Vliet's making 15 mil. Far out, Freddy. All right, you want to make that much money? Far out. Um, what could we do here? Like, you're only 26, so like, I could possibly bring you back. All right, so I traded away Patrick McCaw and and uh, what's his face? Forgot his name to try and grab up Andre Drummond, and I'd like to see if Andre would like to come onto the team. He does. Andre Drummond, welcome to Toronto, my guy. And who could we pick up here? Andre Drummond was our big pickup, so we got one, two, three. Uh, f we don't have any small forwards. Five, six. S oh, we so we need a backup center, backup power forward, backup small forward, backup shooting guard, and point guards. We're fine. So we need backups for everything and an actual small forward. So I want to spend money on a small forward here. Let's just go like Mario Hazonia. Sure, if he would like to come onto the team. But then we have a somewhat of a starting five, sure. And then I'm just going to get backups for every position on mid-level exceptions. So, no, not mid-level exception, on the mid minimum deal. I'll see you guys with our final roster. Alrighty, so roster-wise, we're going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to send Nick Richards down to the G League and possibly Matt Thomas, can, looking at his contract. Yeah, Matt Thomas, I could send down there as well. So that's all of that. I'm thinking maybe seeing what I could get for Carl Lowry and say, where is it? And this bloke down here and Terrence Davis because I'm not sure what could happen. I'm looking for a point guard, a young point guard and Dennis Smith Jr. and Frank Nilakina. That's almost really tempting. Jamal Murray brings us back a point guard. I'm not sure if... Like, that'll bring me, make Denver more of a contender. Pair Kyle Lowry with Jokic. That could almost work. Brogdon, D. Rose, DeMar DeRozan, Mikhail Bridges. I'm looking for point guards. And at the moment, I think the best one's probably Jamal Murray. I think considering, I think Denver may need it a little bit more. So, I think possibly that could work. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments and all that. That may or may not have been a good move. But I did that. Got to live with it for the rest of the video. I'll see you guys at training camps. Here we go. So we got two training camps here. Let's just go down to Untapped and give it to Jamal, considering we're going to be paying him a whole lot of money. Might as well give it to Jamal Murray. And I'm also going to give it to Andre Drummond. He is the future there. Let's advance to this next season. I think we've got a very great, kind of like a really good young big three. So yeah, I'm going to sort out rotation and lineups and stuff. I'll see you guys once all that's done. So our rotation this season is looking like Jamal Murray, Fred Van Vliet, Mario Hazonia, Pascal Siakam and Andre Drummond there with Nico Manon, Kenneth Fareed, Reggie Bullock, Michael Beasley coming off of the bench. We have Pascal Siakam, Andre, um, Jamal Murray and Andre Drummond as our scoring options. We're going with a balanced system there. Let's check these power rankings. NBA.com have us at 9 and Eric has us at 9 as well. I'm going to simulate this season. I'll see you guys at the end with our record. So, after this second season, we go 43 and 39. AD is the MVP. Lamelo, Rookie of the Year. Schroeder, Sixth Man. Anthony Davis, a Defensive. Rui Hachimura, Most Improved. And Terry Scott's Coach of the Year. So, do we get any Toronto Raptors on any of these teams? We do get Pascal, All-NBA Third Team. I love seeing it. Defensive, we don't get anyone there. And do we get any rookies? Do we get Nico? We do get Nico, all rookie second team. So good on you, mate. I love it seeing that there. We are again, uh, got the four versus five matchup this season. Uh, let's check these stats for our team here. Pascal Siakam was our leading scorer with 24.2 points. Jamal Murray, 22.9 points. And Andre Drummond, 17 points, pulling down 15.3 boards as well. That is awesome to see. Uh, Freddie Van Vliet averaging 12 points. Nico Mannon, 10 points off the bench with Hazonia, 10 points as well. So what I'm 
I'm probably going to see what I can get for Mario in this offseason. So points per game, uh, we were 8th. So our offense was 8th. Our defense, oh, our defense wasn't too good, man. Our defense was one of the worst. But our differential, uh, we were only just positive on 1.3. But we were 14th differential-wise. So I don't think there's anything that I have to change for our rotation. Because I think we have a 9-man rotation. We do. So I'm just going to bring everyone's minutes down a little bit. And bring up Pascal's a little bit. And uh, same with these guys there. So there we all go there. I'm good with those scoring options still. Let's just simulate round here against the Nets. I'm not expecting anything here because... I'm pretty sure Brooklyn are a lot much better team than us. We are quite youthful, so maybe not. We do win one game, so I'm quite happy we won a game. But we get eliminated in five games. Lovely. So, what I've been thinking, uh, maybe if I moved Mario, we need a better small forward and a shooting guard. I don't exactly want to give up Fred Van Vliet, but we might have to just so he doesn't... Just so we can get like a better small forward or a better shooting guard. That's just personal opinion. What I've been thinking throughout the offset throughout this season. So it might be try get an upgraded small forward or shooting guard there. Probably small forward because we could probably pick up a shooting guard in free agency. But Portland are the champions with Dame getting Finals MVP. Good on you, Dame, getting a ring. Awesome to see that there. So draft lottery. Let's go here. Do we have any first round picks? I don't see. Oh, no, we have New York, which is number eight. So we have the projected eighth odds and we no. So the Knicks, I think it was like top 10 protected and they got nine. So we didn't get their pick. Uh, we have our pick, I think. Yeah, so we have our pick and the Atlanta pick, which is 28. So we should be OK there. We got all that. Uh, we need a new trainer. I'll pick up Sean Navarro and we need a new assistant GM. I'll bring up Ryan Johnson. Sure. There we go. That's everything done there. Let's go down to this draft. So like I've been saying, I kind of want to see what I can get like small forward wise because Hazonia is making quite a lot. So if I gave up Fred Van Vliet and Hazonia, what could we get? If we could pick up Sergi Barker back, I kind of want to do that. Karis Levert, move Karis to the small forward. How, how big is Karis? He's 6'7". So he can play the three. TJ Warren, Robert Covington, plus we have to give up that pick. Can I do that without having to give up Fred Van Vliet? Can I just do that with uh, Hazonia? So if I gave up Hazonia plus the 18th and 26th picks, could we still grab up a small forward here? We could still grab up a, I don't know, someone kind of all right. No, nothing. Okay, so what if instead I just offered up 26th and Mario Hazonia? If we could pick up a small forward, please, Jake Lehman. Bobby Portis, there's really not a lot coming up here. All right, I'm going to try something here. I'm going to trade Mario for Jay Crowder. I'll bring Jay Crowder to Toronto. And then I'm going to move Jay, see if he goes up at the small. He does go up at the small forward, so I might just keep him at the small. He is a 3 and D player, isn't he? Let's just see what his defense is like. Yeah, so his defense is okay. So I'm going to keep him at the small forward. And then I'm going to trade Fred Van Vliet. I'm sorry, guys. I am going to trade Fred Van Vliet. And I'm going to see if I can pick up a shooting guard worthy of coming on here. Like Gary Harris. Ooh. Gary Harris would be nice. He brings back, brings that shooting a little bit more defense, if I'm being completely honest here. He's got an A perimeter D, whereas Fred Van Vliet only has an A minus. His post defense is an F. Gary's is a D minus. So, what about Karras? Can Karras play a bit more defense? Not really. So, maybe I don't need to move Fred Van Vliet. I can get Sergi Barker back. Yeah, right, I'm going to do that. Bring Robert Covington onto the team. Hopefully, that could work out somehow. If Because now that we've got Robert Covington, are we able to give up him in the 18th? Are we able to pick up a shooting guard that could possibly be starting worthy? Gary Harris is back. Fred Van Vliet we can get back. Okay, what if I chucked in another first from the Hawks? Because the Hawks are probably going to be pretty good. So, if I chucked in another first and I want a shooting guard here, Jeremy Lamb. Like, the best that I'm getting here is Gary Harris, which, I mean, could happen, could work. All right, I've looked, and because they don't have a small forward, I think this is all right. They also do have a backup shooting guard that can take Gary Harris's spot, and also we move up in the draft, and they still get an 18th pick plus another first. So, I think that is something that could actually go through. So, we've now got Gary Harris. I'm going to go into this draft here. See what we can get. Here we go. So we have the, what is it? I think it's the 12th pick or 16th pick or something like that. I'm not sure. Wait, hold up. Let's just see. So who's here? Zaya Williams. Okay. So let's just see what pick we actually do have. I think we have the 12th pick, don't we? Yeah. I'll go Zaya. Sure. There we go. That's, that's all from us for the draft here. Cade Cunningham went one. Jalen Johnson. Jalen Green. Brian Antony and Evan Mobley was there. Rookie signings. We're bringing Zaya onto the squad. Uh, I'm actually going to bring back Matt's. 
there and probably Richards as well. Sure, I'll bring him back. Also, qualifying, we got none. So I think we still have a full team, which is kind of awesome to see. So we have a proper team. So we got two, four, uh, six, possibly seven, eight, nine. Mm, we probably need another center. So if we go to Mortatorium, can we pick up a uh, center in Dwayne Dedman? Because we are trying to compete this year. So I think we could probably sign some veterans. Yeah, so Dwayne Denman does give us some veteran presence there at the center position. I mean, we do have Andre Drummond, which, I mean, isn't, isn't hugely bad. But then we've got Dwayne Denman, who can space the floor a little bit when he's coming off of the bench. So that means he could also play the four while Andre's at the five. Um, I think that's really all we could possibly get. I'm looking here, and I possibly could pick up a power forward. But at the same time, I can change Jay Crowder's secondary position to a power forward which does also give power forward minutes. So we're going to do that there. And we should be all right player-wise. Yeah, okay, we should be all right. I'm not, there's not much that I really want to do here if there, unless there's someone really good here that's still here. No, there really isn't. So I'll see you guys at training camps. Here we go. So training camp-wise, untapped potential. Again, I want to send it to Jamal Murray because I want him to become really, really good for us. Uh, I'm going to give it to Gary Harris because I'd like to see him progress to at least a 93 this season. I'll give it to Nico as well so he can progress into someone quite decent as well. So I'm going to sort out the rotation and all that for this final season. And I'll see you guys with this rotation. Righto, so this season we're going with Jamal Murray, Gary Harris, Pascal Siakam, Jay Crowder and Andre Drummond starting five with Nico Mannon, Dwayne Dedman, Matt Thomas, Vlatko, Cancer and Cancer? It's can Cancer? Cancer, I don't know. And Zaya Williams coming off of the bench with Pascal, Jamal Murray and Andre Drummond as the starting, as the pr preferred scoring options. We're going with a balanced system again. Uh, power rankings, NBA.com have us at seven and Eric also has us at seven. So let's hope we can have a good last season season here and I'll see you guys with the final results. Righto, so this final season we went 46 and 36. Giannis was the MVP, Cade Cunningham rookie of the year, D'Angelo six man, AD defensive, RJ Hampton most improved, oh 29.2 points, damn, and Brent Brown coach of the year. So do we get any I don't think we get... Oh, we got Pascal. Oh, NBA second team. Awesome there, mate. But that's the only Raptor we have there. And I don't see any others here. Rookies. I don't think we had any uh, rookie Raptors. So there's all of that done. Again, we got the 4 versus 5 matchup. If we can't get out of this one, I'm going to be... I'm not going to be upset because it's a realistic and my realistic rebuilds never go well. But anyway, uh, Pascal, 25 points, six, six, 7 boards and almost 6 assists. Uh, we have Jamal Murray, 19.7 points and 6.4 assists. Uh, Andre, 15.5 points and 14 boards. Uh, Nico Mannon, uh, Gary Harris, Jay Crowder, Vlatko... Matt Thomas and their Zaya Williams. Team stats here. Points per game. Points per game. Let's see where we were at. We were... Oh, okay. We were pretty bad offensively. Our defense was fourth best. And our differential was ninth. So that's all awesome there. We have a 10-man rotation at the moment. So we've got to change that around. I think... Yeah, no. We're going to have to bring... Oh, he's on fire at the moment. So sure. I'll start the rookie here. I'll bring the rookie off the bench. Let's just go like this and bring the minutes down for everyone. And then we've got to bring the starter minutes up. I'll bring Pascal to a 40. He's going to play 40 minutes a night. We should be okay all there. Let's go now. Let's go to simulate round here against the Detroit Pistons in the first round of these playoffs. It would be lovely if we could get past the Pistons here. I'm not sure if we can. We did take Andre Drummond away from them, but I'm not sure who they got in return, who they actually paired him up. But we do get out of the second, the first round. I'm actually curious to see who the Pistons have. They have Steven Adams and Sabonis Dumbia. Okay, so they actually, they have an alright team, but here we go. So we got 76ers, I am not expecting, they've got a LaMarcus and Al now, and Rudy Gay. So they traded Tobias for LaMarcus and Rudy Gay. Okay, let's just simulate round, I'm not expecting us to beat Philadelphia here at all, because Philadelphia te Philadelphia's team is just so much better. We're down 3-1, and we get bounced in five games. We won the first game, but then we lose four straight, so... Yeah, that is all of that there. Let's just go to this roster here. This is what we had. We had a Pascal Siakam who reached a hit 91 overall. Jamal Murray was a 90. Andre Drummond was an 89. Gary Harris an 82. 
81 for Nico, Dwayne Demon was an 80, Matt Thomas, Jay Crowder, Vlatko, Zaya. So there we go. That was our team there. Hopefully, you guys have all enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments if there was anything that I could have improved on and all that. But if you did enjoy, please be sure to smash the like button down below and subscribe to the channel while you're down there. It only takes a second of your time, and why not? It's free. Also, we're trying to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the year. So please, while you're down there, please hit the subscribe button. It would be absolutely amazing amazing. That's it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a good rest of the day and I'll catch you guys in the next one.